Now, welcome to Alien Soldier. Or to, welcome to my Let's Play of Alien Soldier. As you can see, my output's 800 times 600. That's the upscaler. The image is going to be stretched. Nothing to do about it. This is running on the original Mega Drive. And today I'm going to show you the best way, in my opinion, how to finish the game, which anyone can pick up. I'm going to give some advice on the bosses. Otherwise, I'm not going to be saying much. The weapons I choose is Homing Force, Sword Force, Lancer Force. I take status Type 2 because it gives me all the information I need. And then we go. I'm not going to brag or like try a speed run. I just want to show you how to play the game. So this boss here, you see my health is full. You can do this to all bosses, I think. Do that. And he's dead. Then we move on. Grab the health upgrades like we just did there. Some weapon are more effective against bosses than others. Someone you some of you have to aim a bit better with them. And you can also use blast force, I think it's called to you know, charge the boss, get the health away. Done. These are so far the very easy bosses of the game. The game will get harder. And if you're wondering why I'm not picking up any other weapons, because I have a layout ready for Seven Force herself, which is a boss we'll meet down the line. Next boss, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. So him, you have to be fast. And he's dead. And you can also switch to a different weapon to let your weapons recharge. A little pro tip. The weakness of this boss is behind, so if you can get behind him, you can also use sword force, or laser force, or, la or lance force as well. You can also reflect the bombs back at the boss. It's up to you how you want to kill it. Bombing force is effective for the boss when you stand in the front. As I said, I'm not doing, I'm not doing a no-hit boss run. I'm just showing how you can take down the bosses, and that was pretty bad for my end. Emergency. 
This boss is interesting. She will summon small crabs that can hold on to you while she can pinch you on. I'm gonna use homing force. Why? So I don't have to worry about her armor. It will take a bit of a longer time. But it's a safe bet. And if you can get full health and use a dash attack on her, then you're set. And homing force also allows me to kill the adds. And she is being a dread pain in the ass. Wow. Uh oh. You're not supposed to take this long. Let's see. I can upgrade Sword Force. That could be useful. No, it won't be useful next boss. As you can see, the weapon's recharging. I can just use it with just as much force. You can get health back from the eggs from this frog boss. Oh. Ah, you get your sword boss. You learn something new. I'm gonna stick to Sword Force on this one. Why? Direct line so you can clear up the trash. Next up, nice as well. I guess we're in an air airplane or something? I used to call it the train because it reminded me of the German train. Weird. If 
we can try to get this boss in position to blast through him. You will turn invisible once his health drops to this low percentage. Below a certain percentage. Wow. here because of those annoying turrets on this pallet shaped <laughs> ship You can actually hurt them. <laughs> Meet Sci Tiger, my favorite boss in the game. Story like the Ninja Turtle boss. You just want to dodge his attacks. I feel he dies way too early in the game, but that's just my opinion. Not bad. So, I want to recharge some of my weapons. This boss is annoying, he'll pull you underwater so you drown. So if you want to charge him... Well, I recommend you stand at the in the middle of the end of the platform, let him come to you. That's all the notes you need to know of this boss. And he will attack you, like so, but you can. You can... Oh! Huh? You can get it back. I want to get this one fully leveled. Oh, yes, please. I was too cocky there. I know you don't have to kill that underwater brain cauliflower thing. I just like to do it. As vengeance. Power up. 
So this boss, you can actually walk the opposite way. He throws the wind at you and you will not fall into the water while you press fire. Epsilon, Epsilon Eagle will continue. As you can see, he walks at the edge. And I recommend using Sword Force on this boss. Even though it says only 55%, doesn't matter. It's very effective. And now it's going on to the second phase. You can, of course, dash at him. But I don't see a point because in this phase, he'll shoot lasers at you that you can reflect. And fun fact, if you kill him too fast, you will have to walk quite a bit. Running out of health, no problem. The fishes will resurrect. The fishes will give you health. Watch out for those flying lobsters. It's all right, Teddy Bear. We are friends. Let's go. A few things you need to know about this boss. You can control the boat with the D-pad. So stay in this form. And as you can see, when I'm holding down the fire button, I'm actually moving the boat around. I didn't know this as a kid, so I used to drown at this boss. Controlling the boat is vital for this boss fight. I can't dis I can't just stress how important it is that you know this. And yes, that can happen that they throw bombs at you. I'm gonna let my weapon recharge. And if you can, try to get full health when you finish this boss. Because you want to get the boat at the edge of the screen so you can dodge his attacks. Like so. But don't do it too soon. Now you can get your health back. Ready for big diamonds. If you're lucky, he'll give you two loads of health. Oh, he will also body slam you, which is really annoying. Really? So, I'm not attacking him, because I want full health. You'll see why. I stop I won't hit him now. It's not gonna give me full health. Fine. Don't care. I have a feeling this game is throwing all the nonsense it can at me. So. I'm using Sword Force on this guy. I was hoping to charge.
There you go. Still effective. Just about. So, you don't have much time to take her down. This is a very annoying boss. Full health. Slam right into her. Get her out of that cocoon. Then, then just get her down. Use any weapons you desire. I use homing force. Because you don't have much time to get her down. Oh yeah, she will grab onto you. Because she's annoying. Let's go for that one. The next phase is going to be really interesting. We're going into a tunnel. Depending which weapon you choose, you can light up the place. I don't really have much advice to offer for this boss. Use any weapon you want. You get attacked because basically I just really hurry up. I don't even bother dodge everything. Why? Because I can get my health back at this boss. And there's no way to recharge your weapons after this point until you're done with the other two bosses that come next. And charging the boss is not really effective, as you can see. But this is one of the more annoying bosses in this game, I feel. Because its thorns can drain your health. Are you gonna do anything or not? I don't know why she's not jumping. Hello? Can't jump? I want to recharge my health, please? Weird. I guess not. Sometimes the game throws random stuff at you, it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to behave. So, for the bat phase. Sword Force. You're gonna need it. You wanna get this boss down or the stat down ASAP. Boom. Let your weapon recharge for the next boss fight. This spider can sh shoot two fireball whatever's at you. And it's baby spiders will pull the bat down, meaning you have nothing to stand on. Don't let it happen. Uh, you can do this. Get your health back. Wow. Thank you. 
Yeah, don't let don't let the spider catch you. Or you will fall down into the void. Actually, there's no points to save your health with this one. Next boss. Oh boy. This is gonna be this is gonna be really interesting. Epsilon Eagle's up. So dodge! Where it says lock, if you get lock on you, get away. I always tend to stand at the corner. I always use sword force against Epsilon Eagle. This boss is pretty hard. Position is key in this one, which is really unfair. Because he is gonna he's gonna throw everything at you. Otherwise, I don't really have any advice. Dodge! You can. He is going to bull you. I should make repeat that. He is going to cheat around a bit. So he always will shoot at the middle. I'm curious. Oh yeah. But, and that's how you get Epsilon Eagle down. Congratulations! You got this far into Alien Soldier! Well done! Now the game's gonna really amp up in difficulty. Some fun facts about the game. The story is not complete. The game was originally planned to have 100 bosses and a more in-depth story, but they ran out of time. There's actually one developer working on it, but in the end, Treasure put more developers on the game, so the story doesn't make sense. And I hope one day they'll actually release the game with all the intent bosses and the final story, because I would play that. And yes, I'm playing this on a PAL Mega Drive at 50 Hz. I haven't put 60 Hz on. The reason you can buy PAL, you can buy past the region lock, but it's it's going to be running way too fast. It's not worth it. I will one day do a gameplay video of it running way too fast, just to see if the game will break down on itself or not. Yes. Uh. Where are you going? To? Oh. I'll just stand on this platform. Let him hit you. Double top the D button. You can also attack like that if you really want. And then he changes his attack patterns if you do. I'm curious.
It's an expensive weapon, that laser force, but it, it's worth it. Hello. Keen on upgrading, upgrading weapons in certain ways because of the next boss. Not this one, but the one after. Actually, everything's fully upgraded. Ready? Oh, he's annoying, this boss. Ah, normally he doesn't do that with me, but this time he's decided to be a pain in the Pinocchio. Bye bye. Now, the game gets interesting. Don't follow me. Katie, or oh, Seven Force, Marjorie Force. This is a tough boss. You have to defeat five bosses. And if you die, it's back to the start with you. Thank you. Why are you changing absolutely all your patterns? Mean. I think you can get your health back in the second phase. Liddy, this is nonsense. She should not be standing at that edge. Oh, she's never done it in any of my playthroughs before. And yes, the music's also in Gunstar Hero. Second force! Get your health back. Throw bombs at her. And stay alive. If, you, if your weapons are not charged, now's the time to fully charge them up. Because you're going to be very sorry if you don't. Of course I could put my other stance or form on, but I don't feel like it. There'll come a time when you can you take bombs back at her or hurl them at her. Like now. Oh, I didn't see that. Didn't pay attention. Wow. Of course, I'm playing bad. Well, I'm not going to the next phase until I get more health. Sorry for that.
Alright. This this face. Right here. There are many ways you can do this. I'm gonna choose my sneaky way. Because if I look away for too long, she'll start attacking me. And the gravity is pulling me towards her. So what I'm hoping to do is this continue go right no left, right. Left, shoot, right. Left, shoot, right. Over and over again. It's a, probably not the fastest way to get it down, but it's foolproof. And if you want a video with all just how to get the bosses down, I will also do a video of just that. As you can see, we're getting her down. Slowly does it. we still got good time on us. me kitty time fun fact if you for some reason only have fire weapons the temple will appear corrupt or broken because you, you can't really kill her with fire in the last phase Oops. so that's a little thing meaning oh you messed up so this one is pretty easy she will shoot projectiles at you out of, out of her tail. You can get health from those projectiles. Like so. You can of course slam yourself into her, as I call her. Now, final phase. Your fire-based weapons or force will not work. You'll have to go on Sword Force, Laser Force. I think those are the only two weapons that work against her. And this took me more than 10 years to figure out. <laughs> Ouch. Laser Force is very good against her. But the question is, can you land a hit? Yeah, she will. She will hurt. And change. I didn't get perfect hits on her, but that's okay. This part is very strange, stressful. Don't feel bad if you die. You can try again. You got you still I got a generous amount of time, even if you use time to get your weapons on full on the second phase of this horrible boss. Charging her full health won't have any effect because it's a fire-based attack. Got her! Seven force dealt with. Now the game gets really interesting. As I said, this is not a speed run. Well, I'm just showing you how to play Alien Soldiers so you'll have a chance to clear it. I already have done some mistakes, sadly, but hey. This level is a buff. Because the meteorite, meteorites, which look a bit different than the ones in the foreground, those are the ones you have to shoot away. It's not always easy to see that. Let's see if we can spot one real quick. But here's a big one. The small ones you should really be afraid of. And yes, my weapons are now recharging. If they didn't recharge themselves already, I don't know. I can't remember if the game is generous or, generous or not. And yeah, sometimes you'll, you'll get a bomb. 
a little present from Santa. I'm not having any luck on this run, I feel. Nice. The next boss, if I remember correctly, I do not like. Entire bosses, ew. Come on. So, as you can see, we got two enemies health and time. Especially when they have space centipedes or whatever this thing is. Yes, you can get your health back. And I don't like that the Mega Drive lags so much at this stage because there's so much going on. This boss always stresses me up because of time. Time is not your friend on this boss. Wow, lucky. Very lucky. Right, next boss is a cowboy. <laughs> this one. I'll explain as much as I can. Get some health back. Very cool design, boss. Keep on dodging because he's going to shoot at you and he's really annoying. Okay, down. You see very quickly on the screen where the platforms are going to be blocking your path. Oops. That was shame. Hey, that's what happens when you get stuck in a bullet. It's not bad. Up. You don't want to get hit by those. It really hurts. It gives you a chance at least to land on attack. There you go, boss down. Oof, the lag. Oh dear. 
I'm not gonna get any health back, am I? So this boss, he is really... I call it a nasty piece of work. You can control the platform with the D-pad. Oh, I always get confused where he's gonna be. Oh dear, he's horrible. Come on, game! There you go, we got the boss down! Full health. Do yourself a favor. Drain your weapons. You won't be needing your weapons. Because the Buster Force is the weakness to the last boss. If you made it this far without dying even, congratulations, you're amazing. If you died but still made it this far, congratulations, you're amazing, you're patient, well done. We learn from our mistakes and we get better. And don't feel bad if you didn't make it this far. Don't feel bad if you didn't make it this far without dying. So you can reflect fireballs at him. That's the only way to get the boss down. He really hurts this boss. time here as well because trust me if you don't know what you're doing you'll be needing the time this phase is horrible dodge for your life you, you you will not have time to see what the lasers on as you pause the game and we don't want to pause the game of course in easy mode you can slow the game down and he can continue doing this over and over again come on don't do this Oh. Yes, laugh at me. You <laughs> We got him! We got a deafness run and a new record. Wow, we how long, how long did we take? Forty minutes maybe? There you go, this is how you play Alien Soldier, all the bosses, and maybe if you're lucky, no deaths. Thank you very much for watching my video. Enjoy the end credits and the awesome music that's about to play. And if you made it this far, it doesn't matter if you died or not, remember you're amazing because you just finished one of the hardest games on the Mega Drive Genesis platform. Congratulations.
Oh, treasure, why don't you give us the full game? Give us a hundred levels. So there you go, total time limit. Total clear time, 29 minutes, 3 seconds. 
I am very pleased with my new best time. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And remember, you finished the game, you did magnificently well. This is not an easy game. And hey, let's tell Treasure we want to see the full story and all the bosses, shall we? Catch you guys in my next video. Bye!